Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Air Kitty, and oh my gosh. Okay, so if you are here, you've obviously seen the title of the video. You know what's going on, but what you don't really know. I have waited almost 20 years to play this game. 20, 20 years. years. The last time I played this, I was like maybe like seven or eight. Yeah, and I haven't been able to play this since, but today is different, completely different. After I had a couple games that legitimately were not working on virtual machines, I finally decided to myself, okay, I'm gonna have to get original hardware. As difficult that, as that is, as expensive as that can be, <laughs> I am gonna need to get an original either Windows 95 or Windows 98. Thankfully, I found one. I found a Windows 98 for sale. I immediately bought it. And it took me a while because obviously Windows 90 whatever can be kind of finicky with how to set it up. And obviously it's been so long since I've actually set one up myself. <laughs> um, as well as the fact of obviously it was just the tower. No keyboard, no mouse, and I had I had completely forgotten that USB support was not really a thing. Like USB mice and USB keyboards were not really a thing with Windows 98. I think it actually didn't take off until maybe like Windows ME or Windows XP, one of the two. Not until like later on in the 2000s did we start actually going to USB. Fun little facts. But so... Finally, when I got a keyboard and a mouse for this computer, I, uh, I popped the game in, and honestly, at first, because like it ran, it got to the place where you type your name in, and at first, the audio didn't play immediately. And I had forgotten that, that it doesn't play immediately. Obviously, with Windows 98, like, you know, back in the day, it seemed immediate. Now, with modern-day technology, we're so used to everything happening instantly. It took a couple seconds, and then all of a sudden I heard Angelica's voice, and I was like, I literally started tearing up. I was so happy. This right here, I don't know where to put it, because I don't know where the glare's gonna be, but this right here, this almighty right here, this is my original CD I have had since, obviously, like, I was like seven or eight. And I have been trying to get this thing working since. This, today, is the only time I've ever gotten it working 100%. Like, I could play it and everything. And I am so excited to be able to show you guys basically my childhood. More of my childhood. I, I, I get the idea that I'm unofficially making myself the Rugrats channel. Someone else has probably already claimed that title. And uh, to that person, we need to, like, hook up. Like, we need to, like, you know, start making plans. Because uh, Rugrats is on its rise. And um, I can't get enough Rugrats. If you haven't, if you, haven't you know, been able to tell, I, I actually did buy some of these shirts. Like, more Rugrats shirts for this occasion. <laughs> as well as uh, some other Rugrats games I plan to get later on down the line. So... So, for those of you that didn't have this game, too young to remember this game, and, uh, or you just forgot it, I don't know how you could, because this is probably, like, one of the most awesome games from, like, the really early 90s to the really early 2000s that ever came out. This is basically a point-and-click adventure game in the style of the Rugrats. You play as... Tommy, basically, and you explore the Pickles house, completing an objective that I'm not going to say. I'm going to let the game tell you when we get in. The one little thing I wanted to point out before we got started with the game, though, is the thing that I miss so much about the early classic games and stuff like that is obviously the cases. Now, obviously, with like a lot of my, old, my other older games, I go through the case and I see if there's anything interesting or anything that's cool to point out. And uh, there was a couple things. So, like, obviously on the back of the, uh, 
trying to see if I can get it without the glare. So on the back of the manual there, you see that there's a little quiz there, or not a quiz, a uh, maze with film. I obviously have not done it because I don't, I don't dare to ruin perfection here. I just follow my finger. So that way I never have to spoil it for myself. But so I always thought those kind of fun because I don't think that they really, I don't think a lot of game manuals ever had like little activities that you could do on them. I don't know too many of them, especially not ones that I had as a kid. You know, as a kid, usually like you, you picked up the manual and you're like, oh, that's nice. And you just went and you, you know, ripped out the game from the case and you shoved it into the computer. But so obviously as manuals go, this is pretty standard, you know, just stuff like little activities, how to set it up, troubleshooting, stuff like that. One thing I really liked though was that obviously <laughs> because this was the 90s and though the Rugrats had made a name for themselves already by this point, uh, which is obviously the main reason why they even got a video game in the first place, they still went ahead and put little bios <laughs> into the uh, game itself. So like obviously like there's one for Tommy, Chucky, Phil and Lil, Angelica, they're, they even have one for Reptar. There's one for like Stu, Dee Dee, Lou, Betty, and Spike. And obviously these are just all the characters that you're going to see in the game that have voice actors and, you know, that are present. So like obviously we're not seeing Chaz, we're not seeing Howard, we're not seeing any of Angelica's parents. Thank God. But there were two other things I also really liked about this. So in the very back of the manual, they actually have a section called Extra Hints. Which uh, I thought was kind of cute because a lot of games, again, they didn't give you a lot of hints. When you were playing it, if you were stuck, you were kind of just stuck. The internet wasn't too big back then either yet. So I think beforehand, if you had a problem with the game, you had to call a helpline. I never obviously did because I was way too young to even use a phone at that point. Um, and it obviously cost you money. It was like some odd amount of sense for every minute you were on the phone asking for help. So yeah, back in the 90s it was expensive to uh, ask for cheats <laughs> or ask for any help at all for a game. You were better off just going to your you know, buddy at school, asking them if they've gotten past level 25, and then um, inviting them over to your house and having them show you. Which I think up until like the mid 2000s that's what I did because obviously I had no one else to turn to. I didn't, well, we had internet, but, you know, I didn't know that you could do that. <laughs> you know, eight years old. And the other little thing that I thought was really cool, and what you'll be seeing throughout this, you know, video, is the fact that they do offer you a uh, PDF version of the manual, so that, God forbid, if you ever lose this cute little booklet, and uh, you need some help with it, or anything like that, or you're, like, having problems with getting it up and running, you still have a copy of it. Again, I'm pretty sure a lot of games did that, but Rugrats was kind of the first game I ever saw it with. That like, it wasn't an actual, it wasn't like a readme file. It was legitimately a PDF version of the actual manual, like with all the pictures and the text and everything else. So, uh, unfortunately, maybe for some, but maybe fortunately for others, there are no really corny jokes in the manual. So, uh, I guess I saved you from that. But um, before I explode from excitement, let's get playing, because I don't think I can wait any longer. I've, I mean, I've waited almost 20 years, so let's get going. God, I miss this so much. Give it a minute. Oh, 
All right, now listen up, you babies. This is the place where you write your name so you can play. Like this. Um, let's see. A. Um, um. Okay, no, wait. That's not right. Is it I or you? Almost got it. There! Okay, your turn. See if you can type your name as good as me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi, Reptar. I missed you. I missed you so much. I mean, I, I've seen him, obviously, in the newer Regrets, and uh, I actually saw that they had more episodes, which I was really happy about. Type. Let me uh, go ahead and type my name in here. Obviously, I did test the game, so there's a type. test file there. Type. 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 <laughs> there we go. Good enough. And I was actually kind of impressed with some of the work that they've done. I will say the second half of the first season that they put out is a lot better than the first half. Um, I've been debating about doing more of a review for that series, but I'm not sure. We now return to Reptar vs. the Aliens! Starring no one important. Oh. The time is ripe to gather up all the Earth children and bring them back to our home planet as slaves. Oh, no. Well, good thing I'm not a kid. I'm safe. M my queen, we were just preparing to invade Earth for you. Well, then get on I haven't got all millennia. And by the way, as soon as you get all those Earth children, make sure you destroy that infernal planet so no one comes after you. Mm -hmm. Destroy the whole planet? You heard the queen! Arm the really big dangerous weapon thingy and prepare for the invasion! Where is Albert? I don't know where Albert is. I think he just oh got no, sucked up. Space aliens are stealing our children! Oh, who will save us? You shouldn't be watching that. It's much too scary. But yet you you let them have toys of the said creature. What's gotten into them? Ah! Hm. Now you kids have fun in here. Betty and I will be making you some delicious treats in a little while. Oh, Stu, if Can't you're wait. not too busy, would you please empty the trash? Sure thing, Deed. What was that? I think it was my mommy. I thought an alien had come to get us. Don't have to worry about aliens, Chucky. We got some reptile to protect us. Hey, since we can't watch the movie, how about we play reptile versus aliens all by ourselves? Okay. Toby's ball can be the Earth, and reptile can keep us safe. Well, who's going to be the alien? Hey, babies. Siffy and I are going to play gymnastics, and we need you to be the trampoline. Um, sorry, Angelica, but we were going to play with Reptar. Oh, you were, huh? Well, we'll see how much fun Reptar is. In the trash! Yeah, I, I kind of know this now by heart, this whole game. Or at least oh, the intro sequence. No. Come on, guys, we got to save Reptar! Looks like the first thing we got to do is get out of this playpen! Oh my god. So now we're playing. So, uh, okay, there it is. I was gonna say, well... Huh, aliens from outer space. Nobody believes that stuff anymore. Maybe I could invent something to detect intelligent life on Earth. I would love that invention. <laughs> I would use it every day. I hope Deed bakes me some peanut butter cookies. Oh, um, boy. Oh, please. I hope, I hope, I hope. You know what's actually funny? I think that's actually my dad's favorite type of cookie, too. It's not mine. I'm not really into peanut butter cookies. I, mine is... I'm like Angelica. Chocolate chip. Love chocolate chip. And I know I'm like... I just want to hear all the dialogue. I want to soak it all in. I want to like just... Breathe in that nostalgia. What? They already have games for computers? I swear, somebody is stealing all my ideas. I mean... Please, if you, if you can put out another game about your family... 
and your friends. That'd be fantastic. That'd make my entire life. What do you got, Lil? Hurry, Tommy! We got to save Reptile before he gets thrown away! I mean, Tommy's dad doesn't look like he's in any hurry to, you know, take out that trash, so I think we're okay. I hope we get out of here someday. I only got one diaper. Lil, how, how long have you been in here? How many days has it been? Am I gonna, like, push back the curtain? I'm just gonna see scrawl marks of the number of days they've been in the playpen. We got to keep poking on things till we find something to get us out of this playpen. Now poke! I'm poke it! Just poke it, guys. That's what Lil says. Poke it. Poke. We got to keep poke. In my excitement, I'm neglecting to actually explain some certain things, the mechanics of the game. So obviously, it's all pretty much mouse based. You just click on things. Obviously, see this big black bar at the bottom of the screen. If you hover over there, um, you can see like this is kind of like an inventory. It's not really. Your inventory is actually technically. Tommy's diaper? Which we have nothing, and thank god we don't see anything. We just see the top half of the diaper. But, um, so obviously you have our quit button. The replay button, I can't remember. I think it's just like if you want to replay a scene or something like that. And if you're absolutely stuck and you need to get back to the playpen or whatever, you can actually cry. I may actually just show you guys what that is. Uh, when we get out or something like that. Because obviously it's great out right now and I can't do anything because we're in the playpen. So we have to wait until we're outside the playpen to use it. Uh, Lil, what about this? What about the xylophones? <laughs> I'm making up a song! <laughs> and obviously true to, you know, 90s, 2000s, like kind of like kids and edutainment games there's just a bunch of stuff in the environment that you can click on and it serves no purpose of the game it's just literally for entertainment and i love it hey phil we gotta get out of here so we can save reptar i'm trying hey don't look at me all i got is worms hey little boys <laughs> Look at all this stuff. There's gotta be something we can use in here. I will say that there is actually a uh, short hand, short key, shortcut, keyboard shortcut. That another great thing about having the manual is that if there's any, uh, sh you know, keyboard shortcuts or anything like that. Oh, okay. I thought there was something like be able to skip some dialogue, like if I had accidentally uh, seen or heard a piece of dialogue already that I could just skip it because I tried clicking and that doesn't do anything, so I will try to cut out the uh, duplicate dialogue if I accidentally start it. I'll show this ball who's a boss! <laughs> Screwdrivers typically. I find it a screwdriver! There we go. Where are we gonna put all this stuff? Hmm. Well, I guess we can keep it in my diapy. Ew, that doesn't seem very clean. But how do we get it back out when we need it? Easy. Just click on my diapy and then pick the thing you want to use. There we go. Obviously, I haven't really explored anything else, so I'm gonna keep going. Oh, that's it. Tommy, anything interesting? No? Okay, nothing. Also, I know that this background is just basically the backyard just stretched out and everything, but like, my god, their sandbox is huge. Hi, Chucky. Hey, maybe we could use Tommy's screwdriver to open the gate. 
There must be something around here to open that gate with. There's got to be some way out of here. Sure glad I don't have to go potty. That would be a perfect reason we have an excuse to escape. Look at me, guys! I'm building a castle. It's a really small one, made out of blocks. So cute. Okay, so now we've seen all the dialogue. Uh, let's get the stew driver. And use it on that. Stew, the trash is calling your name. <laughs> you can't fool me, The Trash doesn't talk. Trust me, ours is about to. Then maybe it'll start walking, too, and head out to the backyard on its own. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going. Oh, no! My dad is gonna throw away the trash in the kitchen that got Raptor in it! Come on, you guys! <sighs> We're too late, Tommy! Oh, no. That's right, babies! Reptar is going to that big trash heap in the sky. Do you have that? Guys, there's only one thing to do. Hey, 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 what's going on in here? You pups got a problem? They seem fine. Well, Dee, the trash is all taken care of. You took out all the trash in the house? Yeah, uh, well, uh... Almost. Actually, no. Oh, well, stay there. I'll bring the trash cans down and you can take them out to the back. Well, I better head out to the grocery store while you kids take out the garbage. Okay, Betty. Oh, and be sure to keep the back door closed so the kids don't get out. I'll be right back with the first load, honey. Check. How will we save from our Tommy? Yeah, we can't get outside if the door's closed. Uh... Well, uh, we got to do something if we're going to get outside and save Reptar. I mean, Stu's not really closing it himself. I could just, you know, sit by this wall when he goes out. And then when he comes back in, just... <laughs> I mean, I know exactly what we have to do. Uh, okay, we still can't cry. What are we gonna do? Reptar's outside in the biggest trash can. I don't know, Lil. I'll think of something. Wow. I wish my mommy and daddy had as much trash as yours do, Tommy. <laughs> Maybe we can pretend we're trash. I don't need to pretend. I already am. You sure do got lots of trash in your house, Tommy. I, I love... It's even funnier, because, like, in the original show, and even in these games and stuff like that, there's a bunch of jokes that obviously, you know, for kids. And the kids get it, and, you know, the adults are like, oh, that's kind of cute. But then there's a bunch of these jokes. Like, the idea that, like... Uh, kind of like an homage to that one episode of um, Rugrats where they had all that trash in their garage that they couldn't even park the car in or something like that. And then, like, literally, like, they had, like, the news, like, the people from the news station, like, come and be like, oh my god, this is so exciting because, or like, this is so much of an impressive feat that you can, that you, you know, you've only, uh, got one trash can out every week and stuff like that, like, oh, you're doing so much for the environment, like, all of a sudden the garage door opens and you just see all of the trash and recycling just flow out and it was like, oh, wow. <laughs> Your daddy keeps opening the door, but then he just shuts it again. Mm -hmm. Dang it, her father's responsible. I wonder what would happen if we were trash. <laughs> yeah, we'd probably smell better, and maybe your daddy would take us outside. We would smell better if we were trash? I mean, not unless we're throwing out a bunch of perfume. Oh, I don't... I don't think old perfume would really smell great either. But, but, but there's big scary bluebirds outside, you guys! 
Are you sure you want to go out there, huh? Chucky, what happened to you and bluebirds that you don't like? Hey, maybe it's got something to do with that trash. Um, maybe we can just close our eyes and sing happy thoughts and sing dummy bear songs until everything's okay. <laughs> Uh, nobody ever listens to me. <laughs> oh, Chucky. It's okay. Nobody listened to me as a kid either. Nobody did. I was just there to make sure no one actually got hurt and to run for help when we needed it. When one of us actually did get hurt. And I will say that is one thing that is missing right now in the newest Rugrats reboot is the dummy bears. I have not seen, you know, heads nor tails of the dummy bears or any reference to them. And I'm like, wait, but the dummy bears was also a really popular thing in Rugrats. Where are they? I'm sorry, Chucky. We can't go in there right now. Oh, okay, we can't. Wait, what? Oh, because Dee Dee just left. It's one of the mini games, um, but obviously I can't do anything here. Uh, actually, does Chucky say anything new? No. I forgot that this is kind of like a time based thing where it's like you have to wait until like, both the adults are out of the room and then you go for the trash. Go for it. Go. Ah, oh, we were too slow. Hey, where do you guys think you're going? Oh. Uh. Does Dee Dee have anything if I uh, try to click on the trash? Well, at least we'll finally get all the trash out. I can't believe we let it go this long. That's it. We'll hide in the trash and my daddy will carry us out. Come on, hurry, while nobody's looking. Apparently Ta Tommy and I got really, really high or we have multiple moms. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, whoever invented trash just wasn't thinking. Hey, that's it. I'll think up an invention that will take the trash out automatically. <laughs> Too late to reach the top. How are we gonna get Reptar out? I don't know. Uh, we got to think. Well, we better do it quick before that trash monster shows up. Hubert, shh. Don't say his name. He might hear you. Too late. It's you. Ah! Ah! Oh, there you are. It's not safe for you kids to be out here with the gate open. You'd better stay in your playpen. No more going outside for you. I'm going to lock that door right now. She hasn't figured out the fact that she did lock the last time. We just found a way out. Also, I do find it funny because I'm like, I feel like a baby that's really highly intelligent, like these babies are. I feel like they actually would try to squeeze through these little holes right here. Like, they would know that they are big enough and they'd actually try to squeeze through. I would have. <laughs> I was a mastermind child. <laughs> my mom put up a baby gate. I took all my toys and I made a ramp. And I climbed over. Because <laughs> doggone it, I wanted Reese's. <laughs> okay, what now, Tommy? Maybe we can use my screwdriver to open the gate. Oh, again, okay. Lil, any input? Maybe we could use Tommy's screwdriver to open the playpen. Same, same input? There's got to be something around here that will open the gate. Maybe we can open the playpen with our nosies. With our nosies? I don't think any one of us has a nose that protrudes enough and is skinny enough that we could just... <clears throat> I mean, granted, that is kind of a big gap. In the cutscene, it was like right there. Like, they were like right there. You're not getting through that, but... 
I didn't seem as small as I could just take my hand and just karate chop upwards. Granted, again, Mastermind Child probably would have been just like, let me just reach around and just... <laughs> Maybe there's something over here that can open that gate. Gee, how do we usually open that gate thingy? That's how it is when you're a baby. Always trying to get in or out of something. There's gotta be some way out of here. Sure glad I don't have to go potty. Okay, I feel like Chucky's dialogue is gonna be the exact same. So all right, let's uh, let's get the screwdriver. Let's open this bad boy up. Again. Come on, guys! Let's go save Reptar! And don't try to stop us, and don't Yeah. Get... Oh, you poor sweet babies! I won't try to stop you. I only wanted to warn you. What warned us about what? Oh, just the evil aliens that are gonna come down and capture you and take you back to their home planet and make you their slaves forever! <gasps> be the worstest thing ever and Reptar can't save you because any minute now he's gonna be Huber food. Have fun babies. <laughs> Come out Chucky. I think Angelica was just trying to scare us. I'm not taking any chances. If the aliens do come, they'll see your butt. <sighs> what are we gonna do? Oh, uh, we got to get Reptar out of the trash. But he was too far away. How are we going to reach him? And your mom locked her door. How are we going to get back outside? And even if we get back outside without the aliens capturing us, big old scary Hubert is out there waiting to eat us. Well, we got to find something big enough to reach Reptar, and we got to find a way outside. And I guess we're going to need something even scarier than Hubert to scare him away. What are we going to do first this time? Good choices. I don't know. I think we need some help. Can you help us decide what to do? If you pick me, we can try to get outside. If you pick me, we can try to find something to reach Reptar. If you pick me, we can try finding something to scare away Hubert. <gasps> like maybe a bigger, scarier monster. <gasps> oh. Click on the one of us that said what you want to do. I'm trying to think. Um, I think technically no matter who you pick, you're gonna go through all three scenarios anyways. Um, I'm gonna actually gonna pick Chucky's first. Okay, guys, I think Chucky's right. The only way to keep Hubert from eating Reptar is to find a monster even scarier than he is to scare him away. That was my idea? Hey, maybe we Chucky. could make a monster like Hankenstein. But what is the monster made out of? Well, maybe our moms wouldn't know. They're making something nice and smelly in the kitchen right now. Let's go see. Phew. This should be more than enough goodies for the Senior Center bake sale. Don't you think, Betty? Here, try this. I... Yeah, good, huh? What's your recipe? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Deed. <laughs> All right, take your egg substitute, your artificial sweetener, your non-dairy milk, and your deflowered flour. Mix together till nice and runny. Mm, that sounds like it would taste terrible. Oh, no, 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 no. Not if you follow the recipe right. I'm telling you, Deed, with a good recipe, you can make anything. Did you hear that? All we need is the right recipe, and we can make a monster. But where are we going to find our monster recipe? Well, in a recipe book, I guess. A recipe book. Come on, let's look for one. We're off to find a recipe book, guys. <laughs> I also love, and this was something that I wanted to point out too, I love how Stu's like, I'll make an invention that takes out the trash for us. He apparently was three steps behind, like, be like behind himself because he already did that. Yeah. I know it was my idea, but I think making a monster might be too scary. 
You've already said and put out into the world, Chucky. We're doing it. We're committed. We're committed to this idea, Chuck. We're doing it. I guess we better keep looking for that recipe book. Yes. If we find the recipe book, then we'll know how to make a really scary monster. Hey, what am I saying? I'm scared of monsters. Which is funny that we really need a recipe book, because I'm just thinking to myself, like, Chucky, you are a fountain of information when it comes to that. Just literally find the, the thing that'll make you pee your pants. And we'll make that. Or attempt to, because, you know, we're babies. And you can only do so much as a baby. Granted, loud noises scare babies, so... <laughs> I think if Chucky pulled out anything from his head, we'd probably, unfortunately, have all the babies go to cardiac arrest. Alright. Phil? Lil? Where are you? Here, here you are. What you got? If we don't find out how to make a monster scarier than Hubert, we'll never see for the Reptar. What is Betty doing? I hope our monster got worms in it, so we can eat him after he scares away Hubert. Apparently, Lil just wants us to make Oogie Boogie. And I'm like, that would have made, that would have made uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas like 10 times scarier, I guess. Not only for the fact of the whole idea of Oogie Boogie being made of bugs, and him and the environment around him just being creepy as is. I mean, the whole point of the movie, but. Having literal children, infants eat. Oogie Boogie. That would have just... Yeah. I bet Angelica knows how to make a monster. She's almost just the monster anyways. Why don't we just send Angelica? Phil, what's your... Maybe we could put some toothpaste in our monster. That's pretty yucky. Toothpaste. I mean, if we're going for gross factor, we could just put used diapers. And that would be easy, because all you have to do is, you know, soil yourself, slap that on the monster, and then run around in front of mom and be like, I don't have a diaper, mom. And mom will be like, oh no, you don't have a diaper? What the heck? I just gave you one, like, a minute ago. Well, I better put another one back on you, because I don't want you ruining my house. And then she's gonna put another diaper on you. And then you're gonna guzzle down some milk. And you're gonna pee yourself again. And then you're gonna do that. I can tell you right now that probably that'd be one of the scariest things to me. Uh, having a ball full of used diapers <laughs> coming at me. No recipe book in here. Let's try a different room. But, but there's a book. Your mom has one. Oh, I can cry now. I'll do that in a moment. Boy, recipe books are harder to find than I thought. I know. Spike? Hey, I fired Spike's water dish. Good thing, too. All this looking made me thirsty. <laughs> Oh, good for you. Uh, uh, how many teaspoons in a quart? How many cupcakes are you making, Betty? How many batches are you making? I mean... I'm sure there's a lot of people in a senior citizen's home, but... We had half the amount of people in America in the 90s than we do now. I guess I better grease up this cake pan or we'll have sticking problems. Oh, yeah, the worst thing during cooking. Okay. Cry.
Oh, my goodness. What's wrong? There. That's better. Now, let's get you back to the playpen. And now she doesn't care that we, uh, we're out of the playpen, so... All right. Part of me kind of wants to explore the house a little bit more. So that's where I left that sandwich. I know that pretty somewhere. We can come back and get it later when I'm hungry. Ugh. I mean, if we need it. And that actually is an item that we will be needing at some point. So uh, we're going to keep that right there. I believe yep, here's Angelica. Hello! I don't know why I said to use these thingies. <laughs> Those are some scary old gloves, but we don't need them right now. But uh, we might need them later. Uh, well, that's okay. Remember where they are. Uh, I think. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Angelica, stop looking at me like that, okay? Okay. Ah, monsters! No, it's just pictures of monsters. Hey, maybe it's a monster recipe book. What are you babies doing here? I thought you were trying to save that dumb reptile doll. We need a recipe so we can make a monster to scare away Hubert. Can we have your recipe book, Angelica? Uh, sure, Tommy. If you'll give me something. Like what? Oh, I don't know. Say, uh... Cookies? Um, okay. Come on, guys. We got to figure out a way to get those cookies. I really admire uh, Tommy's can-do attitude. Just the fact that he's like, you know, he's only a year old. And uh, his three-year-old cousin is like, give me cookies. He doesn't even know if his mom has any in the house. He doesn't even know if his mom's making any. He doesn't even know if they even have anything in there. Right now, all he knows is that they're making cupcakes. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, Dee Dee. Do you think we can use these funnel cakes as actual funnels? Wait, what do, you, what, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? Come back, woman, what do you mean? I grew these blueberries in the backyard, pesticide free. We had blueberries in the front of our house. Uh, like at my mom's house and everything. Cookies are easy to find. You just follow the smell. <laughs> um, if you can't smell. <laughs> yeah, there's the, important, the uh, important distinction. If you can smell them. Okay. I'm gonna stop going for the dialogue now. I'm just gonna play the game. <laughs> Okay, because we're at the first mini game. That's the cabinet with the cookies on top. If you want to climb up and get them, just click on the cabinet again. I think I have to wait until uh, Tommy's mom leaves. Okay, let's go. My tummy says there's cookies somewhere really close. Mmm, I know. Chucky will go up there and get them. Me? Why me? Because you're the bestest climber. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, all you got to do is pick one of the bottom drawers to get Chucky started. And I think you got to pick drawers that are in a row, or Chucky will fall down and get squissered. Okay, I'll do it, but you guys got to help me. Which drawer should I climb in first? 
Two. I'm just gonna pick this one. I guess that one's locked. Dang it. Chocolate chip cookies. Way to go, Chickaroo. You climbed it all the way up to the top. Now we got some cookie. Get me down from here! I guess that one's locked. Oh, dog on it. You gotta do cookies! We're all very proud for loving you. Yeah, so during that minigame, obviously, there is... Obviously times when Dee Dee comes through the room. And if she comes through the room and you have any drawers open that, like, you were planning on going up into, she'll close them, and you'll have to reopen them again. But the other thing, too, is that, like, I don't know necessarily what the mechanics are exactly, because I didn't really figure it out when I was eight. It just kind of seemed to be a 50-50 shot about, about, like, if she found me or not. But, like, if you're in the midst of moving between drawers, I actually kind of want to know if I can do it again. Get the coconut cookie. That's the cabinet with the cookies on top. If you want to climb up and get them, just click on the cabinet again. Okay, yeah, let's, let's again. go. Because I do kind of want to see, like, what happens. Because I know, like, obviously, Angelica likes the... My tummy oh says my there's cookie summers really close. Mmm, I know. Chucky will go up there and get them. Me? Why me? Because you're the bestest climber. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, all you got to do is pick one of the bottom drawers to get Chucky started. And I think you got to pick drawers that are in a row, or Chucky will fall down and get squissered. Okay, I'll do it, but you guys got to help me. Which drawer should I climb in first? Okay, sorry. My soda's also like all the way over there now. Uh, I guess that one's locked. But yeah, like if Dee Dee catches you when you're like going between drawers like that. Almost there! Uh oh, hurry up! My mommy's coming! Oh, thank god. I made it! Um, guys, which kind of cookie should I get? There's different ones up here. Hmm, I guess it's either coconut or chocolate chip. They're both pretty yummy. Okay, I'll take one of these coconut cookies. <laughs> way to go, Chickaroo. You climbed it all the way up to the top. Now we got some cookie. Get me down from here! I guess that one's broke. Uh-oh, here comes my mom. Oops. You shouldn't be up here, Chucky. Oh. Now you play on the floor where it's safe, and I'll be back in a little while with some of the nummies that Betty and I are baking. Oh, no, she took my cookie. Now I guess I gotta start all over again. That one's locked. I made it! Um, guys, which kind of cookie should I get? There's different ones up here. Okay, I'll take one of these cook 
Choco Nut Cookies. Woohoo! <laughs> Yoohoo! Way to go, Chuckaroo! You climbed it all the way up to the top! Now we got some cookie! Get me down from here! I am gonna try, Chucky. I guess that one's locked. Hey, give me some of that cookie. I want some. Give me. Okay, okay. Now everybody calm down. We're gonna share it. Excuse me. Okay, so I guess um we only get one cookie. Me. Excuse me now. Yeah, I guess we only get one cookie. But I guess that's the cutscene that you get when you, uh, complete it again, but with no objective. Okay, all we gotta do is find those pigtails, and we'll find Angelica. Find those pigtails, and we'll find Angelica. I mean, I don't think Angelica really moved anywhere. Oh. Oh, we gotta go find Angelica. Why? Is she over here? Whoa. I find it! I find it! I... Oh, I guess you didn't find anything? Hey, Lillian, remember when the electricity went out of our house? Good thing it came back later. You have a really nice entertainment system. That's a feather duster thingy. Let's leave it here so as if we need it later, we'll know where to come back to and find it in. Can I turn the TV? Don't go away, kids. Raptor will be back to fight the aliens right after these commercial messages. Oh no! You don't know that Raptor is in the trash! Okay, so she's not here. Ah, uh, so I mean, she's gotta be like in another room or something like that. That's a pretty picture. Um, unless it's a window. <laughs> I can't get it. It's too reachy. It's right there, Lil. <laughs> too many pointy thingies on it why I, I i now am thinking about this i'm like why did they just have a cactus around the floor here where young children are playing like wouldn't that be a problem <laughs> we're never gonna get this thing open nothing here I don't think there's anything down the basement, so let's just keep moving. Oh, we literally just go into the kitchen, okay. Uh nope. Oh, hi Betty. You know, I cut sugar cane for three summers to work my way through college. What did you do for college? feeling that Angelica's probably gonna be upstairs. At least we could see another cutscene of them running up the stairs. That's that's kind of cool. Yes, there is an individual cutscene of them running upstairs. Or Saminka. I don't know why Angelica would be in the bathroom with her coloring book, but you know what? Um, I don't know. Maybe kids get bored when they, you know, are taking a poop. Practicing how to use their sphincter, I guess. I don't know. I know a lot of people bring, like, Game Boys and stuff. I don't know why we got on this topic. I 
I was just gonna be really surprised if I saw Angelica in here, like in the bathroom at all. Not in this room, but in the bathroom. And she's just on the floor with her coloring book, and I'm like, okay, child, you are weird. Um, okay. Yeah, she's not here. Dang it. Let's try the other room, which I think is Grandpa Lou's. Oh, yep, there's Grandpa. She's here. She's close by? There you are. Thank God. This book explains exactly what you gotta have to make a monster. But you can't have it till I see cookies. Here, have some dirty diaper cookies. Okay, babies, here's your book. Good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Angelica. Okay, let's see what we need to make our monster. Uh, looks like we need a dragon tail and pointy dragon horns, uh, some wings, some hair, and a couple of old booties, and a big scary mask, and some monster claws. Come on, we got to find all this stuff so we can make our scary monster. Let's start looking. All right. <laughs> we finally got the monster recipe book. Great. So uh, I'm not gonna lie, I actually thought this was gonna go by a lot quicker. Cause you know, I was like, you know, it's just, it's just a kid's game, it's fine. I'm actually, actually happily surprised to find out this is gonna take a little bit longer. Then again, that's probably my fault. Because, obviously, I do a lot of, like, introductory stuff when we start a game. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna leave this part off here. And, uh, I'm gonna pick this up again in a little bit. So I can just keep playing and... Yeah. <laughs> so excited to be back. I know that I'm just, like, not talking as much. There's a lot of dialogue. I don't like talking over it. I hate when YouTubers do that. Um, so I don't want to do that to anybody else. But, uh, on top of that... I'm just speechless. I am just so much in awe right now that I'm playing this game again. Oh my god. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. You know, if you guys remember this game, if you guys had this game as a kid, let me know. Let me know how I'm doing. Like, if there's things that I can improve on or anything. Like, I really enjoy getting feedback. You know, obviously just make sure to be kind and respectful. Because I'm trying my best. Thank you guys so much, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.